All right, we're the white player. I'm not familiar with the Aben Empire map here. We got a three, a four, a six, a seven, and a five. There's a little blizzard here on the edge of that one. Makes it a little bit easier to hold this. Okay, one less point here, but it's still kind of fine. Um, we got four over here, five, four, four, one. We're mostly, we're very strong over in Arabia. Are you trying to leave Arabia? That'd be great. I guess red also has seven there. You're not leaving Arabia, so... You actually fortified into Arabia. I have five, nine, 13 troops in Arabia. Red has seven. In what world do you think you're gonna get Arabia? You're tripping. Can I leave Abed Empire? It's got five, eight, uh, 11. Orange is actually as strong there as I am, basically. We got nothing over there. Two, nothing over there. Ah, uh, do I go for African territories? No. Asia Minor? Unlikely. Oh, maybe I'm lucky and Orange leaves this. Or I can... Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to try and do here. Let's just go ahead and stack these over here. And if we're lucky, Orange leaves this. We are going first in the turn order. So perhaps... Man, this song is so super duper chill and vibe. I am loving how vibe and chill this song is. What's the name of this song? It is The Empty... The, it's The Empty Moons of Jupiter by Div Kid. D-I-V-K-I-D. Vibin'. Vibin' to that. Alright, so... It's weird. I would have loved to go on for Arabia, but the black player moved into there. To be fair, it's not hard for me to, like, transfer from one to the other. Ooh, red just kind of put everywhere. It does seem like this is a hard map to hold a bonus on. There's five of us. There's five bonuses. I feel like Maureen Provinces... Yeah, let's, that's, uh... Does this connect over here? I don't know if it does or not. Um... If, if that doesn't connect to that, then that becomes a one, I guess, two, three-point hold? Man, I'll, like, I'm not sure you can really hold bonuses on this map. It's kind of crazy. What'd you do? Looks like you moved down into here. Orange seems to want the Maureen Provinces. Okay. Um, they do have a path to fortify through there. Maybe they want to go for that plus three? I don't know. I mean, if they want to leave that and give me that, I'm all for it. Maybe they realize that it's very easy for me to fortify these through into that. Plus four bonus. What? Oh, they are. I love you. Love that. Are there alliances on this game? No. All right. So we might be able to go for this plus four. It is a one, two, three, four, five point hold. That's garbage. A five point hold for plus four? In pro is this progressive? It's progressive. It's terrible. Okay. Good to know. Um, The black player, I don't even know what the heck they're doing. I'm not, probably not going for a bonus. They're, they're so, the black player is insanely strong in Asia Minor. Like, that's so free for that. Ah, Red's got a nine in the way. I'm not sure this is a map where you easily hold bonuses. I'm not familiar with this map. I would love to get this over to there. But you guys are in the way. So for now, I'll just like to keep it alive and kind of like inch it over towards there and kind of hint to you guys that I want to like connect my troops up into one pile. And then we can go ahead and fortify this away from that terrifying nine you have over there and we gradually get ourselves stacked up maybe this is a map where you just don't really hold bonuses i've never played this map before i don't think at least i don't remember if i have the blizzards don't seem to be particularly meaningful in this map at least not these ones is there only two blizzards why only two this blizzard doesn't do a whole lot of anything really um yeah the blizzards don't reduce the number of holds any apart from maybe like right here yeah, yeah, this, you can just stack here instead of here and here, so... Helps this a little bit, I guess. But that's a, kind of about it. This one still has to stack there to defend against that. What are you doing, Red? What are you doing? Hello? Fortifying your way that way. Okay, interesting. What are you doing, Magenta? You're going down there. Magenta, I feel like I've made a misplay trying to go for this Ottoman Empire. I guess we could try to hold the Ottoman Empire and just like do trust exercises and not defend all the borders? Maybe? Could be the way to go? Note to self, I'm an empire, not a great map for getting and holding bonuses, unless you go for the Maureen provinces, which I kind of wish I had gone for. I guess I could deny Orange from getting that, but considering they moved out of my way, not so much. Wait a second. Orange, wait, does, are, is it, first of all, anybody here a bot? No. Orange was here and they fortified that five out of the way, and then all of a sudden red is in here. Red is working to block my bonus. I think what I'm seeing here is some experienced players who are mostly just playing in a way to deny other people getting bonuses as opposed to trying to get them themselves. And perhaps I should have denied Orange from getting theirs. Now the black player wants to try and grab this over here. Okay. 
Yeah. I mean, if 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 the red player hadn't been like pushing into my bonus here, I could easily be working towards getting this. Did I have more troops here? I feel like I had more than five. I guess I lost some along the way. I need these to move out my way. These don't seem inclined to do so. All right, well, I guess we will just go ahead and have this attack over into here. I'm not really sure what to do right now. I feel like we have... I could have done something to stop Orange from getting that bonus. To be fair, Magenta also could stop them, could have stopped them from getting that bonus. I just feel like the way the black player stacking here and the red player stacking here is really uh, not working so hot for me. But if, there we go. Uh, why? Why, Red? Why? 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 Why are you attacking all my territories, Red? Do you want... It? What? Are you a bot? You're not a bot. You're a player. What are you doing? What are you... Why? Oh, I see. They are tr they were trying to make it so they could fortify all that into their single turn. That's why they attacked the heck out of my territories. I'm down 26 troops. Thanks, Red. <laughs> all right. So they're trying to connect all the troops up to one big stack over here in Asia Minor. Magenta's working on grabbing this. All right. Just bad luck that I was in the way of Red connecting up their troops. Okay. All right. Well, I guess we just have to deal with those losses. And do I really want to keep pushing into a plus four bonus? That's a five point hold. How much is it to hold uh, the Arabia over here? It's a much larger bonus of seven. Six for orange there. Um, you have to you have to hold this and this protect against that. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. It's a seven point hold. It's a seven. Oof, good hit there, huh? Or unlucky. Wait, that was orange attack. That was an unlucky hit from them. Or did they just slam that into one of their guys stacked? What happened there? Did they lose no? I need to pay more attention. So it's a set. This is the problem not being familiar with the map. I'm spending all my time focusing on like learning the map, playing for the first time, like seven point hold, five point hold, uh, I think a four point, oh, three point hold, three point hold. Should we go for this? As opposed to actually, um, you know, doing a thing called paying attention to whatever he's doing, right? All right, so you moved one spot forward, which gives me the opportunity to do this thing called connecting up my troops. I'm not sure we're actually going to get to hold a bonus. And I'm not sure how much it's going to matter. In Progress, if, it, if one person gets like a plus two or a plus three early and holds it for like eight turns, it's not the end of the world if you can clean up a kill on somebody else. We are tied with the lowest on troops. You haven't had your turn yet, so we are the lowest on troops. We've taken a lot of heat from Red. Red? Uh, I, I, oh, they're trying to get this... Why would you put two there, not three? That's not even a guaranteed kill. Red a new, is Red a new player? I don't even know what they're doing. They're just trying to get one big stack. I can't help but notice you're putting all these twos in here to make it a little bit harder for me to get uh, off an empire. I see what you're doing. I, I get the feeling that there's no way orange and magenta. But even if I get this bonus, I don't think they let me hold it. I don't think we get to hold a bonus. You have a nice plus five over there. Here's the thing. I feel like red is sabotaging me. Orange and magenta are getting their territories kind of free. And it feels like red is going out of their way to deny me holding mine. And now we've seen that orange is definitely not going to be a good neighbor to us. Or maybe they are. Maybe they are. They just did that for a car grab. They could have done it. Oh, they didn't want to do a car grab over here because they don't want to have like a... I feel like they should be trying to keep a stack alive over here. So they have like a mobility over here. There's five of us. We're going to need one spot to car trade. Somebody's not getting a bonus. And uh, it might be multiple people not getting a bonus here. What do I do here strategically wise? That's the question. Well, we eventually work our way over here. Do I try to grab this now? Before Orange gets pushed out of here? Uh, there, I, I don't think we're going to be able to hold this one at all. I think maybe we opt for this one over here. Is going to be our eventual play. And, uh... Let's stack these over here, and we are going to work our way over here and signal for the bigger one, and we're going to try and do trust exercises to hold it, as opposed to trying to defend on a lot of points. And I'm going to point at you, and then I'm going to say, thanks. And then I'm going to point at you again, and then I'm going to say, thanks. And give them a thumbs up, letting them know, I want them out of my territory. And, uh... Let's just go ahead and fortify this over to here and end our turn. Just let them know that I want them to get out of this bonus. 
I feel like going for the plus seven bonus is kind of greedy, but I am getting my bonus probably one of the latest, maybe. Well, they are willing to fortify their stuff out there. I don't know. I, I'm getting I'm gonna operate entirely on the trust exercise. If I can hold it for even one or two turns, worth. And I just try to have like one big stack. Where would I want to position my one big stack? If I could have somewhere mobile where I could hit either party. But I want to, after I claimed all this, if I have it here, it has to go through you alone. If I have it here, it has to go through you alone. So here is probably the most like neutral place I can place it. I could go here to break this bonus from red. I could go into here, then to here to break magenta, here, into, yeah, yeah. I, I feel like we stack a big stack right there. That's, that's the spot. Orange is gonna want a car trade in here. Magenta's probably gonna want a car trade in here or into me. Yeah, we can just we can just have red be the guy to not get a bonus. That works for me. And to be fair, red's playing very antagonistic, bad guy wise. Like they stack their 22 inside of the territory the black player probably wanted. That's antagonistic towards them. They were doing some weird plays like stacking inside of the area I wanted. So I feel like red's not playing in a way to make very many friends. Questions, are you gonna move? Yeah, get your card, grab there, and then just kind of like, whoop, move out of there. Fortify that out of there. Fortify that out of there, come on, All right, come on. Yes, good neighbor, appreciate you. Give you the heart, thank you. Red player's upset that they're working along together, or like, the red player's upset that the black player's working with me. Force trade on five, huh? All right, so we'll do that. Didn't realize we're at five turns already. Did, did the black player card skip a couple times? Am I tripping? They might have. Go ahead and try and get this bonus. It's unlikely we get to hold it, but it's worth a shot. Go ahead and hit this, like so. And then we fortify this over to here, where it's in an emotionally neutral position, not on the direct borders of Magenta or the Black Player. And if we're lucky, and we have good relations, because the only people that can hit me right now are Magenta or the Black Player. If Red wants to hit me or uh, orange wants to hit me, they have to either go through these players, make two enemies at once, or come through this way where I have a big 29 stack. So if I can just keep good relations relations with the black player and the magenta player, there's hope for us here. There's hope for us. I would take that. I would take those odds. All right, so you are getting yourself a little bit of action over there. The red player is playing so antagonist. Why? Why? <laughs> Screaming is the Discord emote. <laughs> Why does it say Discord, though? Okay, so the red player is playing very antagonistic towards me, and I don't know why. It doesn't make a lot of sense. Re the, yeah, like, why? The red player is just making enemies. The red player was going up to my territory, so they've made an enemy of the black player by sitting inside of their turf. Now they're sitting in my, my turf. Oh, they're trying to card block me. They're trying to card block me. That's what they're doing. I mean, I mean, it, it's effective. I am denied from getting card, but you're also making a massive enemy out of me. If I have a card trade on three, I don't mind this. I do have a card trade on three. I think I'd rather just get the plus seven troops per turn advantage over red, stack bigger and bigger next to them. And eventually they have to realize that just sitting over just sitting over here screwing me over exclusively. I mean, all they're doing is just guaranteeing I get fourth place. Did I do something to this person? Did I do something to upset you there? I don't understand why they're gunning for me specifically. I mean, realistically, all that... All that really happens here from them car blocking me would be me just like taking them out and me accepting fourth place because they're determined to give me fourth. That doesn't make a lot of sense. I'm not going to card trade here. I am I'm going to stack here and I'll just be card blocked for a turn. Not the end of the world this early on and not the end of the world where I'm getting a plus seven bonus. Hey, Quartz, how you doing? How's this going for you today? Not too bad. We had a good, rec good recording session earlier. I'm not sure why the red player is card blocking me in here. Don't know why they're being so antagonistic towards us, but this is a great example of how not to play as far as like the, the social element goes. What they're doing right here is absolutely 100% guaranteeing 
that I will just, at some point in the game, just self-destruct on them and take them out. They are car blocking me and me alone. I guess I do have the biggest bonus more than them by... T it's only two more than them. It's four more than them. The red, red is playing in a way that is just going to guarantee they get last and I get fourth. And that's it. There's no other way this tur turns out. Like, I don't understand why they're playing like this. It doesn't make any sense at all. I mean, that's a choice you can do. Maybe they're tr like, maybe they're trying. Ooh, look at this truck trust exercise between me and the black player. Maybe what? Oh, I get it now. What they're trying to do is they're trying to block me in to encourage me to break one of these guys for a card. Is what they want. That's what their play is. Yeah, they're thinking that I'm maybe I'm a noob and I break a nape. Yeah, yeah. I get it now. Maybe they're more experienced than I thought, and they're thinking that, oh, if I block this noob in, he'll attack that player and cause bad relations. Wait, does he even have that bonus? I could've just broken him. He doesn't even have that bonus. He was defending it, though. Only troop trade in right there. Maybe I could've broken them. La no, they, ha they had their troops there last turn, right? I don't know. I guess I could've gotten a card by attacking that. They wouldn't have broken their bonus. But, I'm, but that might have have like damaged my relations with them. Ten troops for us. The black player does not have their bonus yet. They don't have their bonus yet, so I could just go for it. And hopefully, um, is there like I'm a sorry? I'm a, I'm like say like I'm sorry. They don't actually have their bonus yet, so I'm not breaking their bonus. I could have gotten my card last turn. But since they didn't have their bonus, the thing is, I'm worried about how that's going to play out in the social element of... They're saying good luck. I, I think the red player understands that, like, they've lost. The question is, they're... Who do they decide to screw over before they go? It's looking like me. They attack the... Ooh, interesting. Are they going to come through and break me from behind? The red player has... Are they, oh, are they going to break everybody? I'm cool with this. Okay, that's fine. If they, if they do the damage evenly... I'm cool with it. I don't mind that at all. Orange kind of got spared there a little bit. All right. The red player understands that they've lost the match. To be fair, their fault for just poor positioning. They played the social game very, very poorly. Magenta's taking that very personally. They've they've made a... Oh, and they stacked inside of me. So I'm the one. I do feel like I'm taking the brunt of red's pain a little bit. Oh, then again, the black player did lose a lot of troops. I just, I just do, I do feel like, it, it does feel very targeted. Yes, yes, push them out, Magenta, and get their two cards. You got 53 troops. Hit there. Oh, but these guys have the three, these two have a kill guard on them, effectively. Why the 16 fortified inside of my territory, though? I don't understand it. Yes, do some damage on them. Yes, yes, I don't know why you're feeding the kill to somebody else, but thank you for getting that 16 stack on my territory. Finally, things going our way. I don't know what Red's problem is. <laughs> I don't know what's, I don't know what Red's deal is. Why they're so determined to, I feel like they've sabotaged a lot of people, Black first. I, I guess they mess with Black as much as me. Just feel, it just feels so personal when it happens to you, right? They didn't do anything to Orange, they did hit them there. I don't, yeah, I don't know why Magenta fed the kill to Orange, but I'm, I'm glad they did. Wow, look how the look how it turned out though. Ooh. Oh, I think Orange can just eliminate uh myself or the black player right now. You might hear some car noises outside. Noisy neighborhood loud cards. But they're not. In fact, they're gonna go for another bonus. It's almost like they're playing like it's fixed. Almost. If they had like just one big omega stack, they could have actually rolled me and gotten four cards, got another card trade of 35. The card trades are big already. I could card trade for 35, put it on this stack. That's my threes, 38s. That's like, what, 80-some? With 80 troops... Oh, I could push somebody out. Do I want to push somebody out for 80? 80, 80? I could take you out. I would get three cards. I would lose probably 40 troops. I'd be down to like 40. No, it's no good. It'd be a bad time to eliminate somebody right now. If I eliminate you... If I eliminate them, then I would have, I think, like four or five cards. And then the orange player, if they're smart, cards trades and wipes me out pretty easily, right? Um, I don't know if I can actually get this. I think I card trade them four for safety just to make sure they don't, like, go for me. And, um, I mean, 93, I could take, just the card-wise is not worth it. I could take out orange, get, if I get lucky. It's not, the numbers just aren't adding up, unfortunately, card-wise and whatnot. 
So let's put, I don't like that much there. Stack these here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and try and reclaim my bonuses and wait for the cards. If like, if you had like four or five cards, 100% worth it to take you out. Three, taking you out for threes with 50 troops is debatable. How we doing? Trades are at 40. Let's recenter the camera there a little bit. Oops. I don't like how the game, like, as you click and place your troops, like, decenters the camera. But if you double click and then double click again, zoom in, zoom out, it recenters it. All right, we've got 92 troops. We're doing all right here. Orange player's kind of doing pretty well for themselves. They're the only person the right player didn't kind of smash into. I've got a great trust exercise, the black player and magenta. Don't know why the black player. I feel like they could have gone a little bit more aggressively for the bonus, kind of a, to their disadvantage that they haven't. I think the red player probably did as much damage to them as they did to me. The wild card players. If I can't win, I'll cause chaos. We have de-escalated borders again with Magenta. We have excellent relations with Magenta and the black player. This is to our advantage. We effectively have a one point hold on a plus seven bonus. You also have a plus seven bonus. You're in a quite for us spot you have to be in the center of everyone. Thankfully, Magenta and Orange are focusing on each other. Yeah, like the, the fact that we were able to do a trust exercise with Magenta and the Black player and they were like experienced enough to like do the trust exercise has worked out very well for us. I think Orange might be a little bit newer because they're not really doing trust exercises with anyone. They're not like they have zero trust in their hearts. I don't know why they have a 20 right there. I guess they're afraid if this gets broken, they don't want to lose that as well. Maybe. I don't know. They should probably, I don't know, what, what is their play? That 23 could go up there? No, that, that 20 is to block that. That 23 is to block that. Yeah, they're so spread out. I think the way Orange is playing, they're not really playing less progressive. They're probably going to hit that. No, oh, man, I love the trust that's going on here. It's great for us. Orange has four cards. But they have 116 troops. The f I wish Red had done some damage to them too, because they'd be, they, they're prime for elimination. I, th what do we do here? I need a card. You don't have your territory yet, so I don't think you're going to be too upset about me attacking you. I'm going to do like the, I'm the the sad emoji again here that I have to attack you. But I don't think it's actually going to upset you too much because you don't actually have the bonus. I'm not breaking the bonus. You don't have it yet. The black player doesn't seem to care about getting the bonus. If they break my bonus, so be it. We've held it for multiple times now. It's okay. We're at a point now where troop wise, we're, all, we're kind of like, yeah, second place, I guess. Yes, keep splitting your stacks so that none of you are primed for an elimination. That's great for me. Me having the one Omega stack on the board leaves me in a good position to take an elimination of whoever I want to, as long as Orange doesn't stack like 50 right here and then force me to only be able to go for them. I guess I could forfeit that away, but when you forfeit away, you make an enemy, right? I think there's hope here as we try to conquer the Auburn Empire. Are you going to attack that... Ooh, you can break me, honestly. That's fine. I don't mind if you break me. It's fine. You need a, you need a card. You much easier to attack a 1 than a 10. Like, I get it. I'd rather keep my territory. Really? You? Wow. All right. Show them the love. Let them understand. Let them know that I understand and appreciate that they did not break me for a card. That's a lot of troops right there. Yeah, I feel you. I feel like attacking tank would be worth it. Ooh, they're eliminating the black player for four cards. Maybe that's an option I could have considered last time. Yeah, maybe I should have. Maybe I messed up not eliminating the black player. They're going to eliminate the black player and they're going to break me as well. And probably Magenta as well. That's fine. Me and Magenta have been getting along swimmingly. It might be myself and Magenta versus... Let's give you a good game. It might... Because red damaged everybody but orange, it's given orange a big advantage. To be fair, I think I could have taken the elimination on black my last turn. Might have been a mistake not doing so, honestly. But uh, let's see what they do. Ooh, and the next card trade... You're not, you're not going to be able to take us out, though, because your troops are too split up, I think. Are you going to try to? Are you going to try to? Magenta and I can still win this. Magenta and I combined beat Orange. As long as they can't take out Magenta this turn. I think it made a, mis a misplay by not taking out the black player. I mean, the fact that we're not in fourth is, you know, a gift that the red player didn't fully self-destruct on us and us alone. They spread the paint evenly, sort of, between the three of us. They did kind of gift a strong position to Orange. They're not going for the elimination. They're not going for the elimination. Okay. So what do I do with this? If they break me, it's game on between you and me, sir. They did not break me. 
Do I want you having this extra bonus? Hmm, I don't love that 20 stack next to me. Do I card trade? I cannot card trade, that's a problem. So, well, we're just going to, I mean, if we're gonna make an enemy out of you, we're gonna make an enemy out of you, right? I don't like you having these bonuses. Let Magenta know what we're up to here. And then we fortify, where do I want this positioned? I want this aimed at orange. I want it aimed at orange and just, you know, let Magenta know that we're the homies. I think Magenta's just gonna card trade here. They're not really positioned to do much damage to Orange, which means unfortunately I'm doing like the bulk of the work. Ooh, I like them just leaving that them. Yeah, I yeah, leave it there. Yeah, that's great. If they, that's fantastic. That's a fantastic play by Magenta. That's a very good play by Magenta. I didn't even think of that. Move that forward, makes it hard. That still protects themselves and also protects me. They understand that we're an alliance. To be fair, we have this problem where he can break us both from behind. If Orange understands that we're both working together against them, they need to strike us both now. They've got 230 troops, we've got 200 combined. The fact they had a card trade on three is super unlucky. I did not have a card trade on three. The fact that they got a card trade on three and I did not just kind of gives them the win here, I think. I think they just win this, yeah. All right, uh, good game, well played. That is just honestly the freest win for Orange. I think the mistake I made was not taking the risk and taking out Black earlier. Letting Orange take out Black for cards when I could have done it myself was a misplay. But we still managed to get second place. And if we're if we're lucky and Orange screws up, maybe 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 we kind of like pull back a little bit. I've got four cards. At the end of the turn, they'll have four cards. They have a 50 troop advantage, but I do think I'm probably a little more experienced at the game than they are, if I had to guess. We card trade on four. A little bit good, good play in luck. We can do some damage here. Let's go ahead and uh, do some damage. Kind of do everything we can here to really kind of like put ourselves in a better position. Try and take advantage of the attacker's bonus. I don't know if it's going to work out for us. You do have healthy troops. I need to get like super lucky here. I'm not going to worry about trying to take out all these. Maybe I do. Um, I think actually we're getting kind of lucky at these rolls here. I feel like let's keep uh, cooking over here. I need to go faster. I need to go faster. I'm not going fast enough. I need to go. Whoops. That's not good. Messed it up there. That's the problem. Keep going. Keep going. We break. We break. We break. We kind of claim. I'm not playing very well. That's the problem. My micro is a little bit off here. Get this. That's good. Keep cooking. We keep cooking. We're a chef. Chef where I deep fortify this over to here. Oh, if I hadn't got that fortify off in time, we would have been in a lot of trouble. If I was more experienced in the game, I could have wiped out most of their troops right there. They had a card trade on four. Uh, it's the question of, can they wipe the board fast enough? It's easier for them to wipe the board because I've left mostly ones and threes and fours behind. I don't have to worry about moving the slider for 30s or whatever. Oh, uh, they're pathing. I think they had the same problem as me where like eh, pathing and whatnots and splits or whatever. They're go are they going fast enough? I don't know that they are. Are they screwed up? They screwed up? Oh, thank goodness. Yep, I knew it. The only way I was going to beat these guy this guy is if they were a newer player. That's exactly what happened. Like, there's no way I should ever win this. Them hitting this is a problem, but I don't have a card. I don't have cards. I don't have cards. They're breaking all my bonuses. They'll take my stack. I'm still at a massive disadvantage. Massive disadvantage here. I needed to take them out that turn, but I don't even know if I had to think. The fact they, they just keep getting card trees. No, they had a card. They had four. They had a card trade in three. A card trade in four. I need to get. I uh, can't even secure any bonuses here. Um, I mean, they're just gonna immediately break it. But we can. Wait, I, can, I need to break their bonus if I can. Um, I'll need to go through here somehow. Can I get through this with insanely good dice, or just down through here? Also, try and get this. If we get lucky, we did fantastic, and just tried luck again. No such luck. All right, if I can break their bonus, it all adds up. And I, but then again, that does free, that doesn't reach over there. Okay, that's, I didn't realize it didn't reach over there. Can I break it through here? Lucky, unlucky, unlucky. Anything to fortify? No, all right. But if we have a card trade on three, if we finally get lucky, if we finally get lucky, I, I, I lose this game because of bad luck. I lose this game because of bad luck. Orange got left alone the entire match. Nobody ever bothered them. They get a card trade on three. I don't. That's it. GG. GG.
Hey, Robo Man, how you doing? They knew they're too slow for the kills. So they were going for the quickest path to go your big stack and weaken you heavily. Yeah, that would do it. Oh, I mean, if they forget to fortify their 42. No, I think they get me next turn. I needed I needed a card trade on three. That would have given me 65. I would have had more troops than a card trade on three. And I win this. We lost because of bad luck. Maybe they blunder and pin their troops somewhere. If we're lucky that happens, maybe I can like bait them back into here or something. I don't know. I need them to blunder. I need and not have a card trade three. If I had a card trade three on three right there, I trade that in. I have more troops than them. I, I sweep the whole board, hopefully in a single turn if I'm fast enough. But um, they have another card trade on three. Are you joking with this? Are you kidding? You're serious? Really? They get two card trades on three. I can't get one. It's like what, like a 60% chance you get a card trade on three and I don't get it. Man, man, their luckiest match ever and a fairly unlucky match for me. Still, I'm happy we got second, considering how red sabotaged myself and black player early. Happy the second. I feel like I should have gone for the risk, like the, the dangerous omission on the black player earlier for three cards. And maybe that could have like rolled us in the direction we wanted to be. They're going so slow. We might still have a chance. They're going so slow. We might still have a chance. I should not be in this. I should be gone. If they're going so slow, I might be able to come back. But they do have a card trade on three. If I can, if they can, if they, if, if as long as I don't free their 38 stack. Card trade on four. Don't free their 38 stack. And oh, they got a 42 stack over here. If I keep their stacks pinned to buy time for more cards, I can't beat them with the amount of troops that I have right here. But what we can do is just keep damaging them up a little bit. Make myself difficult to eliminate. Do I try and grab this bonus? Um, no. What I want to do is reduce some of their stuff. Keep that 38 pinned somewhere. Break their bonuses. And I want to be like positioned in a clean line here. If I can hit this. So this, so this is only way out is through that. I'm still learning the map here. I just want to keep their troops like pinned. And then we fortify this over to here. Your 38 is pinned by your own territories. Your 42 can reach to here, pinned by your own, can reach to here, pinned by your own, uh, can reach to there, pinned by your own troops. So your two biggest stacks are trapped where they can do no damage to me this turn. And I have two cards, and if your turn, you'll have two cards. So if I get lucky, finally, I get my cards right on three. There's help. There's help. <laughs> I mean, realistically, we should be gone. If I'm facing like, a, like an expert or higher, like I'm already gone. Maybe even intermediate, I'm gone. But I could get a head on a cards here. All I got to do is just keep surviving until I win the card trade advantage. I, I do need to keep breaking their bonuses as well. I should try to sec secure this one. Oh, well, they would have broken the 12 anyways. All right, so if I attack, I, I'm, hmm, I could, I probably want to hit here, hit here, break this, hit here, roll through this, um, roll through here, right? But that's, I want to have an next card. Wait a second. Wait a second. I can, you know what? That's fine. Uh, is it, is it, uh, let's, you know, I, I, I don't have my card trade yet. You won't have a card trade either, so we do need to break your stuff. So let's do some damage here. I don't want, I can't let my army get too small though. That would be a problem where you could do a lot of damage to me. I do want to kind of like mess up some of your stuff. Keep your 33 pin down there. Force you to break some of mine. Take advantage of my micro being slightly faster. It's not going that fast there to be honest today. I leave that eight pinned there. And where do I want this pointed? I want it actually kind of like where it's pointed right now. That's fine. They still have a massive troop advantage. But if I get a card trade in three. <laughs> 75. Where do we put them? Where do we put them? Wait a second. You just I, I can do one big stack here. Hit here, 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 here. It doesn't connect through here. I'm glad I realized that this turn. I wish I pushed further through. OK, so night. Let's see. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Nine, no. Yeah, this goes through here. We split. We split. We do a big stack. We hit this split. Leave like eight there to clean this up. And the rest goes through here. Some hits there. This hits here through this. Oh, it's such an awkward map to navigate through. What if we did it a different way and came down through here? Different way, different way, different way, different order. Maybe, maybe, maybe. 
a video after all. Car trade is huge for us. I'm gonna do it a different order, and we're going to kind of do things. Get your healthy stacks out of here. Well, leaving it pinned is not a terrible idea. Let's put a lot of damage on it. Take away your ability to like take my stuff away, or try and take out this turn. The pathing is gonna be the tricky one. This one, just leave three. Doesn't connect anything over here. We hit this here, we keep going, we keep cooking, we keep vibing. Um, we hit this here, only leave three. Such an awkward map to like navigate. Gotta keep going though. Keep putting the damage on them, good. Okay, that does connect, I was like, did I screw up? Okay, you hit over here, I think if I don't run out of time, we're good here. Uh, slider 100%. Gotta go faster, I think we did it, I think. Well, if we don't run out of time, we don't run out of time. I, I would love to say good game, but I'm gonna run out of time if I take the time to emote. There it is! You love to see it! And I have plenty more videos you can watch too. See you in the next one!